Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for May 2021 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading. And remember Gemini, these can be just messages. So let's see what we have for you. I've pre-shuffled all the decks. So we'll pull a few Oracle cards and then go into the Tarot cards. Message for Gemini, please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini, thank you. Your card has fallen out, actually. And we have re-evaluate your priorities in May 2021. Some re-evaluation here. What is the message from Spirit for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message from Spirit for Gemini, May 2021, please. I like this, you know, I like it going with this message because nature is a great clarifier. It's a healing energy, but it also enables us to bring perspective. So if you have, if you need some perspective, it's an energy of taking time out, connect to nature, Gemini, um, whatever that means for you, whatever you like doing because it will make all the difference and bring a new level of clarity your way. So we have nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Okay. Message from Spirit for Gemini, please, Angels, Spirits, Guides for May 2021. Okay, I've got a few cards there. Let's go with it because the turnover for a reason. Yeah, you see, again, this energy thing. We have number 19, Guardian, guard your energy. I have number six, Birth of Creation, there's potential growth. And we have number 16, Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. I mean, it feels like sowing new seeds here. Or well, certainly focusing on what is going to bring growth to your life now. Okay, so what do we have? Message for Gemini. Yeah, we have Llama. Set clear boundaries and enforce them, Archangel Shamuel. So those are the overarching messages, Gemini. I'm going to pull three tarot cards and see what we have for you. So what is the message for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini. First card is the message from spirit. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini. May 2021, that flew out, so I have Strength, card of Leo, Three of Swords, interesting, I'm pulling two cards there, and we have the King of Cups and the High Priestess. Justice is bottom of the deck, Gemini. Okay. So Spirit is telling you that you are strong enough. For those of you who doubt your strength, for those of you who doubt courage to face a fear or face challenge, there is a message of whatever is coming your way or whatever you're dealing with, um, you are absolutely 110% strong enough to deal with this. This is about connecting to that inner strength, that inner resoluteness to overcome any fear or challenge that you face. Um, so no, the Spirit is telling you or recognising that you are strong enough. Know that you're strong enough, that when you're in your power, it is infinite represented by the infinity symbol. When you connect to your inner power, 
it feels there is nothing stopping you from overcoming and bringing positive change to your life. You know, the eight is about mastery. When something needs to be mastered, when we need to bring positive change to our life, this is about being strong enough and re resolute enough to do that. It's with regard to this, the Three of Swords. There's levels to this card, Gemini. So, you know, it is whatever re what is relevant for you. You know, we know that this can be the heartbreak card. This can be a, a difficult truth coming to light that cuts you deeply. Uh, this can be disappointment. Ultimately, the Three of Swords is the test of a relationship in whatever context. Something that has tested or wounded or, you know, uh, caused something. Uh, some test of a relationship so this is saying that you are more than capable of dealing with this this is you're going to be your finest moment where you rise to a challenge and have the opportunity by being in your power to overcome it connect to nature where you need to to get perspective there is absolutely an energy of guard your energy but it's interesting this birth of creation the potential growth it, it feels in this situation, in, in our most testing times, sometimes that is the catalyst for us to take control of our lives and influence our future, you know? So it definitely feels in this situation something has maybe some truth or hurt or emotional pain has been caused here, disappointment, there's levels, but this is about you are absolutely strong enough to cope with it. And... You know, there could have been some something going on beneath the surface, you know, somebody keeping something to themselves and maybe something came out here. Um, there's a feeling of, of revelation with these cards, something being revealed, truths coming out. Um, yeah. However... This King of Cups, it can be a person, it's a card of Scorpio. Um, this King of Cups, male or female energy, as an energy, the King of Cups is someone who understands how to rise above emotional situations and master, uh, master their emotions, you know, rise above situations. And this is what you're guided to do with the High Priestess. So definite energy, you're being watched over every step of the way by God, the universe, the divine. But there could have been some secrets here, some, some, someone keeping certain things to themselves and some kind of truth coming to light here where you need to... It's been a test of strength. However, this is saying that you are strong enough and you will see something through because the bottom of the deck is justice. Is a card of reap what you sow. Ha actions have consequences. It can be to do with legal situations, government institutions. So, you know, in this energy, if you have employed a third party, uh, legal or, or sought third party legal representation, you know, it could be in a number of areas, this Gemini, this is, the truth is on your side. Justice will be vet prevail. Justice can be a decision that restores balance and that's in the light of truth. So this is about you getting justice. You will get justice for whatever this is. Now, this could be karmic justice. This could be legal justice. But there's definitely an energy of there is justice coming your way. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels for some of you that setting clear boundaries, this is what is acceptable to me and this is what's not acceptable to me, you know? Um, I definitely feel in this situation, the sixth of the birth of creation, this is about sowing new seeds, having the strength to overcome something and sow new seeds for your future. Because I definitely feel for some of you, this educate your mind and senses, you are ready to open up to new horizons, open up to new possibilities, to sow new seeds for your future, to create a new life for yourself, because that's what justice is allowing you to do. It is allowing you to release from a situation that has been hurtful and bring positive change to your life. It feels balance is restored, but it definitely feels for some of you there could be some justice coming your way. 
Okay, so final message, Gemini. Final message for Gemini, please. Final message for Gemini. Yeah, you see, take control of the situation. You know, we know you can do this. And it's number three, which is interesting because number three in tarot is about manifesting a new path. It's about manifesting something new. So it feels for some of you, you're able to take the negative and turn it into something positive. There's new potential growth here. It feels absolutely lovely, this reading, Gemini, but it does feel like you've been tested in whatever area this is meant for you. We have relationships in love. We have relationships in family, siblings, you know, work and so on. So however you've been tested, there is definitely this energy of, of truth will prevail. Justice will prevail. You will get the justice that you seek. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.